Trojan and a uh, bit of a change of scenery for me today. It's been a while since I played Elite Dangerous and um, on the account of the beta, which I believe is for, um, sorry, the Horizons beta, which I believe is for the pre-orders, I uh, thought I'd give it a go. This is my first try in a long time in Elite Dangerous and obviously first time with planets. So I've just set up the ship so that it can support one of these guys here so I've actually equipped the ship with the modules it needs like the vehicle hangar and what have you and then I've got one vehicle inside I believe in this system there is a planet that we can land on that also has settlements so we're just gonna go over there it is this one here indicated by the blue halo around it and these little bars here represent that there are settlements here so if you click on planetary map you see there's the drake arsenal so we're going to use that as our destination and you'll have to forgive me while we um while i get used to the controls again because it has been a while that's my excuse anyway so let me just Actually, probably not the best idea to do it right now. I was going to mess around with the volume controls. I'm going to bring down the sound effects slightly, if you can hear me, and the music as well. Ship released. Engines engaged. It's all coming back to me. Further. Let's bring down these volumes. I hope that makes a difference. Right, a bug out here. Oh, luckily we're right near the planet that we require. At the moment it's on the dark side. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing for us. Either way, we're going to check it out. Frameshift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. That's the wrong one. So on the other side of it. There it is over there. So of course I've never attempted a planetary landing before so the mechanic is going to be very interesting for me to see how it feels. It's a distress call. We could go and help or we couldn't. One or the other. Um, it's obviously it's very easy to to in the in the beta to fit out a ship because I think everything at the moment on the 
where you might trade is um, 10% its normal value in game. So where uh, I'm in a Cobra at the moment, um, which would normally cost 340 or odd thousand credits, is now going to cost you 34,000. What is that? Um, okay, a bit worried about that. Don't know what that is. What the hell? He's darting all over the place. What is it? I'm confused. Let's line up. And from what I understand, a blue halo should again appear around the actual planet itself which will indicate where the horizons players can go and where the non-horizons purchasers can't go so that'll be interesting in game sort of an exclusive area in the game itself but it's also good that you can still play with your friends who might not have necessarily have the expansion um which is always good so here we go. Um, what is this circle here? This is our destination over here. Right, so let's quickly just slow down a bit. Oh, okay, I am slowing down. Right, I need to stay inside of this. I should have really read the um, notes a bit better because this um, HUD that you've just seen pop up now is um, important. The Your angle of descent or ascent is important in what flight mode you're in and I'm not entirely sure the mechanic of it. I wonder if that dotted line means it's actually around the other side of the planet. It possibly is considering... well no. Uh, 850, 48. Should we just go down one of these canyons and check it out? Try and just mess around on the surface for a bit, maybe. Let's try and do this without dying. Yeah, dropping from orbit because I've um, I must have come at too steep of an angle, maybe. Glide engaged. All right, now you see there's the sound effects are good for it. Whoa, the the handling has changed a lot. Glide aborting, I don't know what that means, why that's happened. I think I have to maintain a certain degree. So let's try again, can we do J? Frameshift drive charging. No. Ready to engage. Frame shift drive charging. It's going to be fun. The detail there is quite nice, actually. Um, on a previous video that I saw that detail wasn't so apparent. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's probably maybe in the end quality of the video you won't be able to get as much detail as what I'm getting now. But it doesn't look too shabby I'll say right now. Do we have an altitude reading? I wonder. direction is our thing in, it's in this direction over here. Mm. 
note to self in future, maybe try it and before I come into orbit around the planet, be on the right side of it. Would be very handy. I might try and land over here. see the, f the land has formed underneath us now and apparently when we've found a suitable landing spot I might be going a bit too fast then that should change to a blue disc to indicate that it's safe for me to land there so if I I was probably going too fast now but let's try it around here somewhere try going backwards I'm going slow enough here I'm at 30 meters. Oh, that sounds cool. I don't think I can land here. Because I probably need to put my landing gear out, maybe. Doesn't help or in the Landing slightly. gear deployed. Unsuitable terrain. Okay. Let's go forward. Oh, right there. We went blue there. There. Forward a bit. Does that mean I can land here? See, we need to level out a bit. Oh, that's not leveling out. There. Wow, that wasn't so bad. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. So now is the moment of truth. We'll have a look around. Oh. Beep boop, beep boop. Right, so we go down here. Yeah, that's the one we want. And we just go to deploy, and we should then be in the um, the rover. Let's, oh, let's have a good look around. Right, will I have enough clearance underneath this little old ship now? Will I? So how do we do this then? I wonder if there'll be some special control for Is that say activate turret? Dismiss ship? Maybe I might need to dismiss it on account of it. Maybe it was in the way. That's very cool. Oh, that is awesome. See you later. Oh, I'm very pleased with that. Well, unusual to have the drive throttle so separated from the actual related controls up there, but here we go. Um, drive throttle. Oh, we don't want to use the throttle. There we go. See, Q and E. Very unusual. I'd rather have them as W and S to make more sense because I don't see why pitch and that matters. Maybe it does. I could always change them to something else. Uh, apply it. Much better. Thank you. 
Wow, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And it's also good because you can look around while you're driving, which is always nice to do. Oh, that's why I'm in the air. Maybe that's why I might need to be able to pitch and whatever. Should we go up side? Let's go up the side of this. Go that way, dude. He's a nippy little thing. That's a rock. Whoa, airtime. Can you... He handles very well. Being that when I hit the ground at speed, I'm not completely obliterated. Let's try something. We're gonna head to a bit of flat terrain, try and pick up some speed and cover some distance. Whoa, I see now. Wow. And how we did not manage to flip over, I do not know. Makes sense, guys. This guy's a little hopper. Why not just for the hell of it, eh? What we got to lose? Apart from our lives. No, over the canyon. Oh, we're gonna go sideways. scary This might bear some more fruit. It's obviously around this side then. Ah, there we go. So hold on. It has it's probably just the terrain I was on. Let me try from another angle. This is the way I approached the ship before. Let me can board ship here now, so okay, so it was just obviously where the ship had landed. Cool, that's cool. Up to the wheels. <coughs> oh, 